Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the guaranteed team of the season, SBC, when you want to be buying some of these cards, Thursday flipping, all that sort of stuff, because either today, Wednesday, or tomorrow on Thursday is going to be the guaranteed SBC. Again, uh, a lot of times when I record these videos, it is before the Foot Watch tweet happens and before we get information on these uh, team of the season you know, guaranteed upgrade packs. So at the moment, I do not have any info on when that pack is going to be just yet. But uh, it's either going to be today or Thursday because those are literally the only two days left that we have um, for this pack to do to come out. So I do think we'll get the double again. I think they'll release it both into the code. Maybe they're going to just start rotating if it is actually going to be on Thursday. Maybe they'll rotate for like one week. They're going to do Thursday. Then the next week, Wednesday. I don't know why they would do that. Why can't you just keep it the same? But for whatever reason, maybe they do that. Um, but I'm, I think we're going to be planning on it that it could be today on Wednesday. And then if we see nothing in the code, then of course we presume that it is Thursday. So I'll talk about both scenarios uh, regarding both of those things. Because if it is going to be on Thursday, that I kind of like the Wednesday last week where we had like the panic selling of a lot of cards on the market. Like you can tell, I've been watching a lot of out of pack special cards especially ones that are in the La Liga, because I think these guys have a potential to rise really nicely this week with weekend league rewards, because a lot of people now have and are going to be getting on Thursday with rewards and with the guaranteed pack, they're going to be getting uh, untradeable red and just through the guaranteed SBC, these La Liga team of the season cards in their club, and they're going to have to try to link them somehow on FIFA. So I think a lot of these cards do have an opportunity to rise because some of these guys are really good. And they're pretty cheap, right? Like this Valverde card's a really good card. Club 80 uh, with a 90 statistic as well. Really good card. Rodrigo, FFS. These cards are really rare, right? Uh, midfield Mendy. Maybe there's somebody out there that has a three-back formation that they're going to play with three of the new insane center backs. And they want Mendy in the midfield so they can drop it back to a four-back in game and, and play him as an outside back. You know, stuff like that, right? So I want to talk about today some of the La Liga special cards and other special cards from the Prem that I think could be investable this week for Thursday flipping after rewards, and then also talk about when you can be buying some of these team of the season so far items, right? Because a lot of these guys actually are kind of creeping upwards in price. And this might seem crazy, like, yo, why are these things actually going up in price? It doesn't make sense. Suarez is 135, 136 right now. He was 127. Uh, two nights ago. He's 127, so he's up about 100K. Griezmann is up a decent amount. Benzema's up a little bit. Uh, Ramos is up a bit. Um, it, but the thing that I'm really worried about from today is I just feel like they're nobody's really buying these cards. They're kind of going upwards at the moment, but nothing is really happening on this game. People are still hammering upgrade packs, which means they're losing coins. And today, we got the two versions of Flashback Eder Militao, which obviously, if you're doing any of these, you got to do this one. And so many people went out and did this SBC today because center backs across the entire game were panic sold. It didn't matter um, what it, we had moments icons that dropped in price today because they were center backs. We had other center backs that were like uh, 200K dropped today because this Militao SBC was one of the most sought after SBCs in FIFA for this team of the season period. And it came out. So, I mean, this is a promo fold of insane team of the season cards now with Militao especially we already had three incredible center backs with over 90 or higher pace um, in team of the season with Ramos, Varane, and Carlos. So I think a lot of people are going to get their center back duo set and ready to go from here on out. And that's where I kind of think we might need to focus some of our investing this week. I, I'm liking a lot of Brazilian links and especially uh, like the right back and maybe some center mid positions in the uh, La Liga. We'll talk about some of the La Liga cards where I think there could be good buy opportunities there too. But uh, that was, again, more coins lost off the market today. We're heading into Thursday, Wednesday first, but then Thursday, where there's going to be more coins lost with upgrade packs, but also rewards come out as well. So I'm keeping a close eye on this market at the moment. Um, and I want to talk about these cards first. When do you want to buy these cards? Because a lot of you guys have questions, right? When do I buy one for my team, right? Because like some of these guys, you can look at their prices. Like let's look at Suarez. This is a guy... I think Suarez is way too cheap. If you look at him on the market, which I'll go show you here in a second, he does not have a lot of supply. Uh, the crazy supply that we saw earlier this week has somehow kind of like disappeared and died off. 
Uh, not died off, but I guess I don't think as many people are on the game. Look, Suarez was 127 on Tuesday morning, hit a peak of 145 on Tuesday. This card is really desired by a lot of people, man. He was 126 on Monday. Uh, and then today, I mean, he's been around, he's been around 137 all, you know, most of the day above 13. If there is a guaranteed SBC coming out today, a lot of these cards, especially on the high tier, this is the way that it was during the Premier League, right? You want to be buying a lot of these high tier cards like a Benzema, Griezmann, Messi, Varane, Ramos, De Young, Fakir, I would even include in high tier and Carlos, any of those guys, anything above like 500k really, you would want to buy those. At the beginning of the SBC, if there's any panic selling, like right away, that's when I would really want you guys to buy those because after that, those are the cards that are going to rise up after the SBC. And that's what we saw with the Premier League when the guarantee came out on Wednesday. A lot of these guys were at their lowest the night before that guarantee came out. Now, right now, we're not seeing these guys really getting that low. So I might expect a little bit of panic selling headed into the guaranteed if that does come today. If it's not going to come today and it's going to be Thursday, then the best time to buy these would be before rewards for the high tier, right? Like at right before rewards, whatever price they are then is when you really need to pick them up uh, or during the first hour when all the elite packs are opened. So that's kind of our two options for like the elite guys, right? Like a De Jong, Fakir, Ramos, Varane, Griezmann, Benzema, Messi, Suarez, and Carlos. You want to buy those if the guaranteed is today. You want to buy them before the guaranteed or right when the guaranteed comes out if there's any panic. And then if you... If the guarantee does not come today, you want to buy them on Thursday right before rewards or during the first hour of rewards. So whatever that looks like for you time frame wise, I'm trying to just talk in terms of when rewards come out because everybody knows what time that is for them. And that's going to be like a hot time of a lot of cards being bought, especially with these team of the seasons on Thursday with rewards. So that's my thoughts on the high tier, on the lower tier guys, right? Maybe like a Carvajal. Hall. I think Carvajal Hall is going to do very, very well this week um, because a lot of people want to link you know, they, they got Ramos, they got Varane, or they got Militao. That is three Real Madrid center backs that they need to link. And this Carvajal card is very good in game. I think a lot of people are going to want to link him. Um, I think this card rises really nicely out of pack. So if you want to buy him, I feel like he's rare enough that he's not going to get packed a lot. Um, I want to show you Suarez's rarity right now. If we go to 1.5 million Suarez, like I was going to show you, there is literally just one page of Suarez, 100K up. So, you know, on the weekend, when a lot of people decide they want Suarez, that price is going to jump up pretty quick. But again, for Carvajal, this is the type of card I think a lot of people are going to end up going after to finish their squads. A lot of people have packed him through upgrades, but honestly, not that many from what I've seen. Uh, so this guy, I think his lowest was like 250 maybe. If you would see this guy in like the 250s again on the PlayStation, like basically from what he is right now, if you would see him drop another like 20, 30,000 coins in some sort of panic sell and open bids late night or whatever, that's when I think your splash time on that card would be. And any of the other cards that are under 500k, um, a lot of these guys are going to get packed a bunch of rewards. I think Cruz has the opportunity to possibly rise a little bit because there's actually a decent amount of hype around this card, but right now he's like 200k. He's under 200k so i mean this is a card that's probably going to get packed a lot from elite rewards and in reds so just be careful with that um the lower tier guys again if you do want to buy these if the guaranteed comes out today i think you want to buy most of these today if it's a situation again where the guaranteed is on thursday i think you want to wait to buy these guys after an hour or two of the um elite packs and after an hour or two after rewards because what happens then is Everybody opens their rewards and they go out and buy players um, for their teams. And um, the money that people make from rewards, they go and buy cards, right? So a Cruz might be packed an okay amount from rewards, a decent amount, right? So you'll see him probably rise. I think Ter Stegen is going to have a decent rise. Although some people say this card is not good. Ter Stegen is widely well known now as the best keeper in foot. And he's going to link a lot of these uh, center backs together. I know there's not a lot of Barcelona center backs, but if you have Diego Carlos now and and maybe um, um, Militao, you're going to run those two guys together. Because Zorla could have a decent rise. And then the rest, maybe Odegaard rises a bit, maybe Berchiche a tiny bit. But the rest of the guys under 500k, I really don't think they're going to rise that much. I wouldn't expect a huge rise. Um, Moreno, a lot of these guys like Parejo is just right now, this is again like a Busquets situation from La Liga team of the season or community team of the season with PK uh, and like Courtois, right? Like that guy... Uh, is basically SBC fodder at this point. 
And a lot of people have him untradeable. If you're doing upgrade packs, a lot of dudes have this card untradeable now just because um, he's in the pack weight on him is high. He's going to be in a lot of people's guaranteed packs. He's going to be in a lot of the weekend league rewards packs as well. I guess he's not actually 80K. He's actually 83, 84K. So that must have been an undercut on Footbin. But he, at 75K for this card, which I do think he will hit at one point, I think that is a buy for that card right there. So that's how I feel about the team of the season cards from La Liga if you're interested in those. Uh, if you want to buy any Super League Tots cards, I would wait to buy those until Sunday. Weekend League sell-off. They'll be their lowest then, Saturday or Sunday night. Uh, for those cards for sure because they're going to get hit with more lighting rounds this weekend and then for the rest of the market right what kind of cards for a thursday flipping situation do we want to look at what kind of cards do we want to look at for a thursday flipping situation this guy right here is on my radar once again lucas mora shapeshifter this guy last week was upwards of three hundred thousand coins he's 240k right now a lot of the, the, the Prem stuff has really dropped off as well. And if it's a really meta Premier League team of the season, a regular, a meta, sorry, a meta out of packs Premier League card, I still think those are going to rise this week because people are still going to be building Prem teams. Maybe they, they open some packs for La Liga. They didn't get much or nothing that would really fit in their team. Uh, and especially with some of the Brazilians that are in, like, you know, Diego Carlos has got a team of the season card. You know, maybe somebody would have Diego Carlos and then like Emerson at right back linking to Lucas Mora. So there's a, kind of some Brazilian hype right now with the Militao SBC too. Maybe you see a little bit of a rise in some of your other Brazilian midfielders and maybe like a Lucas Mora. So, I mean, your normal Premier League meta stuff, I do think will rise. If you want to buy a Prem Tots card before rewards, absolutely is a buy time for that. I would even say... Um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is it, when the guaranteed comes out, if it's today on Wednesday, watch for panic across the market. That's what we had last week during Prem Team of the Season. We had a lot of cards that just got panic sold because people had to sell to go do the SBC. Like they had to sell like this to go do the SBC, right? Uh, and then they ended up buying back and the prices went back up. Like that Lucas Bohr that we were talking about, uh, that card, just because we're using that as our example, right now this lucas mora went from 320k last week on wednesday when the prem tots guaranteed came out he went from 320k uh all the way down to like 260 270 and then on the weekend he went back up to like 320 so there was almost honestly the the panic because people had to sell cards to go do the guaranteed sbc last week because it was 88 rated and they didn't have a lot of fodder in the club made people go off and sell a lot of cards in their club because they couldn't afford it, right? This with La Liga SBC, it's probably only going to be like an 86 or an 87 rated squad requirement. I'm leaning more towards the 86. I don't feel like people are going to have to sell off as much this week. I do still feel like there could be some panic. And if we do see that panic, that's going to be a beautiful time to go in on the out of pack special linking investments for Thursday flips, uh, selling after Thursday into Friday morning. Um, but if we don't see any panic from that, I wouldn't be as surprised because a lesser cost of an SBC, of course, a lot of people now have maybe an untradeable Parejo, Moreno. They've got two or three untradeable team this season from objectives or from from guaranteed TOTS packs that they now have in their club that they could use to you know, do that SBC for cheaper and not have to sell so many cards from their club to go buy high rateds to finish the SBC. So I don't feel like we're going to see as much panic on the out-of-pack stuff this week as we did last week. Um, but you've already seen some of these cards rise as well. Marcelo on the weekend was 900k flat. He's already up a decent amount. Uh, Messi was was 1.9. He's up a decent amount. I was just looking at somebody else um, over here. Who was it? I was looking at, ooh, Jao Felix. This guy was 840 on Sunday night, Monday morning. He's now 908. Rodrigo was 4. I bought one for 410 earlier today. He's now up a decent amount. Uh, Emerson was 99k yesterday. I've got 25 of those on my transfer list at the moment. But basically, you can still look around the market for Premier League and La Liga cards. That's where I want to focus this week. Premier League and La Liga links, right? This Tamori, it says 422k for him right now. He was just 380, bro. He was a center back that got hit in price today. You can see 440 went down to 381. It says right now he's back to 420k. That's because some of these cards are really rare and it doesn't take a lot for them to fluctuate, you know, 40, 50K in price for a higher rated card. So again, a lot of these guys that are down, uh, 
are going to be buys this week. Like Valverde interests me. Uh, Semedo headliner interests me. I had a, I have a few of him because I think the weak positions in this La Liga team, like a mid-tier striker, we're really lacking a striker that is like between 200K and 500K from this team, right? You've got an 800K striker, a 1.3 mil striker, and a 48K striker. Vinicius Jr., uh, future stars, is somebody who I, I am really interested in this week as well. This guy was down closer to 300K flat in the weekly league sell-off. I think he's now 339, 340K. So, you know, if you see this guy back down closer to 300,000 coins, I think he's going to do really, really well this week. Um, again, shapeshifters are very rare and there's not a lot of Prem strikers. He's Brazilian as well, or La Liga strikers, excuse me. There's not a lot of La Liga strikers in that price range. So really just watch him. I like the, the outside backs, not the left backs from La Liga. I don't like them that much because of the Berchiche that we have. And then this Regulon card, which is very good as well. I guess some people could be running Mariano, but some people say he's not that good. I wouldn't expect many people to run them, to run him. Uh, but I would say watch the strikers, the right backs, and maybe some of the center mids. I mean, I, I know we have Cruz. I know we have um, Cazorla. We have Odegaard. He's more of a center attacking mid. Uh, and we have De Young. But maybe, you know, Furlan Mendy is going to be a card a lot of people want to use. The shapeshifter is, is the best version of him. Other than his foot miss, uh, 85 left back SBC. This card's already up in price. So again, just try to find some stuff that is low in the next 24 hours, depending on when the guaranteed SBC is. But that guaranteed SBC is so key because when that comes out, that's like a point in time on this game where people start to buy things and we start to see things move going forward. Um, and people starting to buy teams even before rewards stuff starts to move up. So I would, I would highly recommend watching for the panic. If we do get that SBC today, the guaranteed, um, then I would highly recommend that we get on those cards today. If we do see it, if we don't see it, then, uh, before rewards time or in the first hour of rewards is what I would say is a good look. Um, I was hoping there'd be a little bit more market panic today because of Militao, but there really wasn't. There really wasn't a lot of panic around the rest of the market, just on the center backs side of things, um, which so many people did this card. You know, Brazilian links, again, as I mentioned, are going to be pretty big for the midfield or like that Ferlin Mendy link. I think it's going to be pretty big for the midfield as well. So that's kind of my thoughts on the team of the seasons and when to buy stuff for this weekend for Thursday flipping. Again, you can still buy from prem, some prem cards. Um, I would focus on French as well if there's any like really meta French cards, like looking back at for birthdays, this Griezmann card is still kind of low. I mean, he was 960, 70K earlier today. Um, Hazard is still, you know, closer to 830, 820 is a good price for him. Uh, Sissoko is kind of low right now. This birthday Hernandez is kind of low. Uh, there's still some other cards that will rise this week other than La Liga and other than Prem. So just kind of keep your eyes out. Like this birthday Van Dyke was 1.5 million coins last week, man. He was 1.5 mil. Uh, and now he's back down to a million 1.047, which is a pretty big undercut. Did he hit that low earlier today? 1080. He's been dropping all day long, which is crazy. So some of these cards that are, you know, really meta cards that rise every week are going to go back up. Di Maria, try to get him under 500k. Bale is up. He was eight, close to 800k flat on weekly league sell-off. Uh, so again, just kind of look at the positions in La Liga that need filling, that don't have a TOTS card that everybody could easily get. Um, and then those could be the out of pack stuff that you look for this weekend and the sell time. That's the last thing that I want to go over, right? Let's say you buy some Vinicius Jr. at 310, 320,000 coins. If he gets there in the, some point in the next 24 hours, I think you want to sell that card Friday, Thursday night or Friday morning. I think we're going to try to double dip this week because a lot of like even the Prem Tots cards were their highest either before the new team of the season came out, La Liga or after the lightning rounds on Friday. So some stuff just dropped after lightning rounds though, when the new TOTS cards came out. So uh, what my theory would be to do is, I would do a little bit of a double dip situation maybe. We can buy before Thursday, we can sell after Thursday into Friday morning, and then look into later Friday morning for some panic on the market for whether it's Bundesliga or Serie A. I'm not gonna say yet, I don't know. We're still waiting on whatever leaks or you know guaranteed uh, stuff is going to come out like loading screens and stuff like that. So that's what we're still waiting on at this time. Uh, but that's kind of the plan. I think moving forward this week with rewards, with the guaranteed SBC and the market movements that we could see because of this content coming 
out. Just an update. I know you guys want to know who have I packed. My team of the season counter is up to 25. Today, I got insanely lucky again, man. I have the EA red list luck. I got myself a Griezmann. He's inserted right into the squad. Going to play on 7 chem. Him and Son are the only guys that are off chem in the team. He's going to end up playing uh, right mid, I think. Right mid in a 4-4-2 formation. So I'm stoked for that. That was a sick pull. Freaking sick pull, man. The hunt for Messi continues, though. I would love, love, love to get myself a Messi. That's the goal, man. So that is the goal. That's what we're going to be pushing for for the rest of this week. And again, I'll show you guys my transfer list really quick. I have a lot of the La Liga guys in here. Some Griezmann informs. Uh, I have a lot of the Emerson right back. I bought him around 100K. I got some Semedos. Um, and then I'll have some fodder, man. If you guys have fodder, whenever the guaranteed SBC comes out, which I hope is today on Wednesday again, I think you will see fodder spike within that one hour time frame of the SBC coming out. And that's when you want to sell. So that's my little bit of info on that. If you guys enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.